Okay, I was able to find another quite challenging uh, removable discontinuity. So let's look at this one again. We have to evaluate this limit. T tends to 1. However, we can't just substitute as this would have us do because if I substitute a 1 in here, I get 4 divided by 0. Same here. 1 squared minus 1 would give me 0 as a denominator. So my only solution would be to simplify the fractions. In this case, we have two fractions. So in order to simplify this, I need to add those fractions. To add fractions, I need a common denominator. To get a common denominator, I have to factorize both denominators. So this one can't factorize any further, but this one can be t minus 1, t plus 1. Then I notice that this one is already included in that one's uh, Denominators, so t minus 1, one of those factors. The other factor is t plus 1. So since this one needs a t plus 1, we multiply top and bottom with t plus 1. And therefore we get 4t plus 4 minus this one didn't need to multiply anything. So that would just be minus 8. Okay, let's continue to simplify. To simplify, and this is t tending to 1. So t tending to 1 in the numerator I now have 4 um, and this will be minus 4. So now to simplify, well let, let me maybe do that step 4 t minus 4 over t minus 1 t plus 1. We see we still actually have a problem. We still can't substitute 1 in here because 1 minus 1 will give me 0. 0 times whatever this bracket simplifies to would be 0 in the denominator so I still can't uh, substitute but can I factorize any further in, or can I simplify any further Durr. indeed I can indeed I can I can take out a 4 in the numerator and be left with t minus 1 t minus 1 in the denominator t plus 1 in the denominator that cancels to leave me with the sorry that's not zero that should be one the limit of four over t plus one t tending to one and now we can see oh that's great now we can substitute the t with the one because when i do substitute that i get a two in the denominator not a zero so i get four over two which is simply two let's quickly go through our uh, the meaning of this again, this means that the limit of t tending to 1 of this expression, 4 over t minus 1 minus 8 over t squared minus 1, this expression will tend to 2 when t tends to 1. Okay, which means when t is close to 1, this expression will be close to 2. t gets closer to 1, this expression will get closer to 2. This expression can get as close to 2 as possible by just getting t close enough to 1. That's what this means. It does not mean that f of t is equal to 2 when t is equal to 1. It does not mean that t is not allowed to equal 1. It can just get close to 1. Okay, that's me for now. And uh, I think this would be the last example of this. But who knows, maybe I get another one.